Drugs gangs attempting to operate during the lockdown have been on a recruitment drive targeting vulnerable children, increasingly focusing on young girls. Youth organisations say girls are less likely to attract the attention of police when quieter streets and public transport make it harder for drugs gangs to operate. Well, our Home Affairs correspondent Tom Simons is here. And Tom, at a time like this, you'd expect crime to be on the way down. And, and it is. But I think what this is, a report by the National Youth Agency is saying, is that drugs gangs are a bit like any other business in quiet times they prepare for the next wave of, of work and uh, the youth workers that the authors of this report have spoken to say that on the front line they believe that more vulnerable children are being approached uh, and perhaps children they didn't think would be involved in this in the past girls in particular because girls can move more freely they're not seen by the police sometimes as being necessarily involved in drugs um, they're also being pushed away from their homes where they're perhaps in difficult situations and, and having trouble being cooped up with their families. And the other point is that youth workers say they don't have their projects running at the moment because of the lockdown. So they're not getting the intelligence they normally get from children as to what's going on in their communities. We spent uh, yesterday in Bristol talking to youth workers there where there's a big problem and they were clearly concerned. What you might see through crime statistics is everything's gone down. Actually, the reality is those at risk are way more at risk. And those that weren't at risk but are on the cusp are now at risk. And the worst thing is, is because we're not doing this work, we can't see those kids. We, we are blind to the risk to these kids. Every single service that is trying their best to support these young people, we've not got the community intelligence that we used to. But some good news, the Metropolitan Police today, Simon, has said that it has managed to cut 87 drug lines being used by drug dealers by using some new tactics and analysis that they're working on at the moment. Tom, thank you very much.